welcome Swidey Carb. My name is Rob and this behind me is the Grand Palace. And today I'm gonna to explain to you and show you why you should be putting this on your bucket list of things to do here in Bangkok, Thailand. So first things first, we might as well address the elephant in the room and that is, well, my elephant pants, super sexy. You have to get trousers to come into the temple here, whether you're a guy or a girl, you have to make sure you're fully covered. You could buy some outside, I got these for 150, and then the further in I got, you could get them for 100, and then you can rent some for 50 as well. So you can get in here just for 50 baht, just to rent some and then give them back as you leave. So it's 500 baht to get in, and for that you get the world's largest entry ticket. And then on the way in, you also get a sort of like a little booklet, a pamphlet that sort of shows you everything around the grounds and a bit of history and sort of like, I don't know, a bit of a guide to go around. And also there's loads of more free things as you go in, but we'll cover that in just a moment. So they offer tours outside which you can pay for, uh, sort of like English and Chinese in all sorts of different languages. But it turns out they've got free tours inside. There's one at 10 and there's one at 10.30. So I'm going to jump on the 10.30 one and see what that's all about. It just goes to show that if you actually just wait a few more minutes and work your way inside, you can actually get most of this stuff for free. So the lady behind us is doing uh, an English tour of basically the whole grounds, basically pointing out all of the, the temples, the, the structures, the, the history and everything that's going on here. Actually, it's, it's really detailed as well. Everything she's pointing out all about the previous kings and the previous cities here in the city. So if you've got time to do this, I highly recommend it. What I love here is the attention to detail and the, the, just the intricacy of everything that's going on like on the top of these structures. I really hope I can get some good video for you guys to actually see because it's, it's just, oh, just mind-blowing how they're able to put these together. So some of these mural paintings are absolutely amazing. The, the lady was just explaining everything about it. And she's doing an amazing job of this tour, uh, to be fair to her. Uh, she's only a little lady, she's got a small voice, but she's doing really, really well. But I can see why people get private tours here at the same time, because you'll probably be able to answer sort of like more personal questions, and it'll be sort of like more towards your own time scale and things like that. But for a free tour, this is absolutely ace. I've visited countless temples and you know uh, statues and monuments and sort of places of worship since I've been here in Thailand. But this place is actually overwhelming. It's so beautiful here, and I didn't expect it to be. I thought there'd be like one or two temples that would look absolutely amazing, but 
honestly this whole place you're just constantly in awe looking around and it's a really good experience to come here and check it out i, I think i've only just scratched the surface of this place as well I've got so much more to look at i've got no idea where i am i'm completely lost as well so i should probably crack the map out and take a look and see what else there is to see here So you might be thinking 500 baht, geez, that's a bit steep, that's a bit expensive. And normally, normally I would agree with you, for tourist places here in Thailand, 500 is expensive. But you know what? I think this one's worth it. So the Grand Palace complex was established in 1782. It consists of not only the rural residents, but the throne halls, and also a number of government officials, as well as the renowned Temple of Emerald Buddha. It covers an area of 218,000 square meters, and is surrounded by four walls, 1,900 meters in length. It's absolutely massive here. And I definitely did not read any of that from this brochure. <laughs> Now I've mentioned in previous videos about the, the tuk-tuk drivers, as soon as you get out of San Am Chai station, they'll tell you that the Grand Palace is closed. And that's what really grinds my gears, because what if you really wanted to check this place out and then they've taken on you this massive tour and you, you get to miss out on this. So yeah, just keep in mind the opening times, I'm gonna put them on the screen now, it's open all the time. They're not closed for uh, Buddhas doing prayers. The, the Buddhas will do prayers here with you here, as long as you just keep quiet. Uh, they do not close it for any particular time for anything. So don't fall for that trap when you get here at San Am Chai. As you're walking around, you'll notice that there's probably six pairs of these, well, not probably, there are, there are, there's six pairs of these demon guardians around. They're, they're pretty impressive. So I'm recording this on a Tuesday and it is dead on half 12 midday and well, there's hardly anyone here. It's actually really nice. The tourists have not fully returned yet. Plus, this is kind of like the hottest part of the day. So a lot of people will avoid coming here at this time as well. Don't forget that this place closes at 3.30. So you kind of want to, you know, at least spend a few hours. I would say between two and three hours you can spend here as long as like you're having lunch and, you know, have a coffee in between. And there's also like a few shows and tours and all sorts of stuff. So I definitely recommend between sort of two to three hours to spend here at the palace. Wow, this building behind me is absolutely amazing. I think it's one of the throne halls. I might be wrong in that, so don't shoot the messenger. Um, as I'm walking around, I'm kind of like overhearing some of the, the tours that are going on, and people are getting some really good information. Um, so maybe, not a recommendation, but it might be worthwhile actually getting one of these tours because it's kind of like, I don't know, it's on a personal level and finding out exactly what's going on with everything. One of the ladies was saying that they used to have uh, elephants like down here in the courtyard, but they've stopped doing that now, and just a bunch of information that you wouldn't really know uh, without someone telling you really yeah there's still so much to check out and uh yeah let's keep looking around the grounds it's not worth noting you can see here you've got the uh the audio guide so uh, you can find out everything about all of the locations that you're visiting so just punch in the number into your audio device and it'll tell you all about it I know for the most part in a lot of my videos I say oh you should come to this place and that place but I actually really like this place I'm definitely going to recommend that my friends come and visit if they haven't done so already I know plenty of Thai people actually that have never been to the palace and uh, I'm just going to recommend to them that they should come and check it out even though it is 500 baht I'm not too sure if it's 500 baht for Thai people actually or like locals that live here I'll have to find out so normally I try and avoid like the touristy of tourist places, which, well, the Grand Palace kind of is, but the difference is this is not a tourist trap, if that makes any kind of sense. You can actually explore and take in some culture and learn a few things about Thailand on the way. So yeah, it's a bit different, this one.
So don't forget to check out this museum as well. I'm not allowed any photos or videos inside, so I'm going to be respectful and leave that down to them. But it's a bunch of like relics and history and some of the tools that were used to erect some of the temples here on site. So it's definitely worth a look on your way around. So this is pretty cool. This is the textiles museum. I wasn't too sure what to make of it, but they've got like uh, just loads of cool like displays. They've got Thailand there made out of uh, fabric. It's really actually impressive. It's really nice the aircon in here as well. So it kind of like breaks up the tour a little bit. Uh, I've actually got goosebumps on my arm because I'm so cold, but it's just another cool place to come and check. Okay, so that's the Queen Surikut Museum of Textiles. And you've got all of the intricate designs there and it tells you about the history, the reasoning behind it and sort of like every little tiny detail of the design has like its own meaning and reason and everything else. The same with the colors as well. It's really good to go and have a look, uh, read all of the little plaques that are inside. And there's a bunch of stuff to look at and interact with there's a nice little shop in there as well to get a bunch of stuff and uh yeah again it's just another another step in the journey here at the grand palace so i've pretty much gone full circle here at the palace but i've got one more thing to check out we need to jump onto these guys to get there so let's go and check it out it's quite nice <laughs> So we just finished watching the 30 minute dance show here at the Royal Theatre, which is included in the price of your ticket as well. So it's kind of like a no brainer to make the most of it. Now, I'm not much of a dance person. I'm a bit of a man's man and it's not really my sort of thing. But I really enjoyed that. It sort of picked up as it went along, the tempo picked up. It told a story on the monitors above as well. So keep that in mind when you're watching it. It kind of like depicts uh, different areas of Thailand and how they dance or how they pay respects to uh, Buddha or certain rituals and things like that. It was really interesting to watch and it lasted half an hour. Uh, they had like a sort of like a live band playing on the, it was just really good. So yeah, make sure you check this out on your, uh, on your trip to the Grand Palace. So that is the Grand Palace tour today. I was pleasantly surprised. 500 baht is definitely worth it. Normally I would say no, just like I said, but this place, absolutely spectacular. Plenty to look at, a few hours at least. Don't forget to bring your elephant pants if you don't have them already, or if you need to get them here, you can easily do that. There's free tours, there's paid tours, there's all sorts to see and do. That's the Grand Palace. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.